Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Cup on Mario Tennis. We're playing as Toad. Let's see how we can uh, get on here. We're going to be facing some powerhouses it looks like. I saw uh, DK Jr. won the first match there. With a quicker map like this, I really got to be uh, predicting where the ball is going to go because... Hit it over him. At least I got him, yeah. If you pop the ball up when they're so close, you can sometimes get it over him, but mostly they get an awkward spike, which allows you to break the chain of just the volley. So last time I was in Star Cup, I was struggling with Birdo in the championship match. That match, like, drove me insane. Took me, like, not even joking you, like, 20 attempts. If you guys haven't seen that, Definitely go check it out. It's a bit of a longer video, but I finally end up beating Birdo. But the fact it was that she was just like she was so fast that it was impossible to score on her. So I hope I don't run into Birdo again. Is is what I'm getting at, or a speed character at least. <laughs> Playing ping pong or something. Generally, they'll always hit it to the opposite side that you're standing, because they're trying to score on you, right? So if you just kind of predict that. I used to be really good at predicting it. Now I'm alright. Match point, let's go. Get out of here. Beat through Luigi three times in every tournament. Bro, you're not going to beat Toad. Oh no, I see Birdo on the opposite side. Yes! Okay, that's good. I'm glad. Alright, DK Jr. Which, I never really understood why they just didn't use, like, Diddy instead or something. Instead they just went with... I guess Donkey Kong Jr. was an actual video game on the Super Nintendo? Before Diddy... Like, well, Diddy was a thing with Donkey Kong Country. Like the game that is on my channel. If you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. It's a Super Nintendo classic game. Side scroller with Donkey Kong and Diddy. So they had Diddy already in mind, is what I'm, I'm trying to get at here. Maybe they were trying to big, bring in Donkey Kong Jr. as a character. Oh, and that's why. I hate playing against Hong Kong Jr. I'm dead. I like... <laughs> yes. Somehow I... Whew. This is gonna be tough. You know, playing this game in the morning and him spiking the ball that hard? I don't like it. If this was the championship match, they're generally harder in the championship match. They're at their pretty much full potential. Oh, missed it. He would probably smoke me. Like, if he does that each time, he'd pretty much lose. I think he has the best serve in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Ah. Darn. He got me. I feel like for his voice, they just used Donkey Kong's voice and just like pitched it up like super high. Do you guys hear that? Sounds like DK. Ha. He almost got me there. Like I said on the previous episode, these guys get pretty hard in the flower cup. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, if you just spam the button, around the time you think the ball is gonna, like, get hit, you, you can hit it. If you're in the right spot, that is. I almost messed up there. I don't know why I keep going close. It's just such a habit. I shouldn't, because I'm playing as Toad, and I just gotta use my technique. 
to my advantage. Yeah, there we go. Can't let him win the set. This one will be a longer video, obviously. Just because how much harder it is and how much I struggle against faster opponents like this. Or at least power opponents that hit the ball so fast. I wanted to do Toad because I knew it would be hard. But I didn't think it was going to be as hard as uh, Boo. Which was my previous singles tournament. With the Birdo as my arch nemesis. I was thinking about playing her honestly, but she might be too good. Yeah, I'm really just watching for his uh his uh ace spike where it goes like super wide. Cause that's what he seems to do all the time. Yeah, now he's going too close to the net. Yeah, just keep aiming there. I had mentioned in the previous episode about some classic N64 games or PlayStation games like Spyro or Crash. Another two games that I'm sure you guys would love to see. So definitely let me know in the comments. I'm also thinking about a Banjo and Kazooie playthrough. That would be fun. Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. Banjo-Kazooie, Donkey Kong 64, even the old Spider-Man. I'm just looking at my N64 games while I'm sitting here. There's James Bond as well. 007 GoldenEye. That's a fun game. I don't... I'm not, like, the best at that game. Is why I've kind of avoided it right now. But I would love to play it. It would. I would have to kind of probably take a couple attempts and figure out what I'm supposed to do. But I'm pretty sure on the easy modes, because you have to beat that game three times, is it? On all different modes. And the easiest mode, there's only like one objective. The medium difficulty, there'll be two. And then third, like the hardest difficulty, there'll be three objectives. So it just makes... You have to do more shit with same map, but uh, less HP as well, I think. You take more damage, that's probably what it is. So right off the bat, Baby Mario, I, I think, is technique, because he's not actually that fast. I thought he might have been speed. He might actually be, but he doesn't seem as bad as Birdo. So, I already have confidence. I mean, beating Donkey Kong Jr. was probably the the challenge of this tournament. Oh, he hits the ball pretty fast though, so I gotta watch for that. And I don't know how he's hitting it that fast, but there we go. There we go. And of course, if you guys want to see some more Mario Tennis, I'd love to do that. I'll probably have another doubles, let's, like, uh, three tournaments coming out. And then, I do want to unlock the really hard tournaments, but that's going to be a lot of singles episodes, so I can always try to, like, off-screen it, or whatever the case. Okay. Got to smarten up here for this last point. Nye. Nye, nye, nye. Okay, so when he serves, it's a bit harder because he has control of the ball. But if I have control and I can, I can pick him apart, it seems. Ah! I was going to miss that one. Try to go for the corner shots against Baby Mario, it seems. Just keep getting them side to side, and eventually should should score. Ah. 
Ah. Ah, I didn't mean to pop it up. I mean, sometimes it just happens, but... Forty thirty. Let's go. Gotta get this game. Hiya. Alright, now I'm on a, this side at least. Oh my god. I'd play better receiving on this side. Holy. Oh, ho, ho. I almost got that. That would have been legendary. What was that, baby Mario? Now I forgot. When uh, returning a serve, generally hit B instead of A, because A seems to pop it up way more often. B is the lighter hit. But then switch to A after. I mean, you could throw in some... some, some Bs every now and then. Throw some Bs on that. Ah, this guy's owning me now. He's gonna go to tiebreaker. But yeah, when he serves, I can't seem to can't seem to score. It's just gonna be these long rallies until I can kind of get control of the ball here. Okay, hit it that way. Okay, I think I got it now. Maybe. It's good to like slow the ball. Ah, shoot. Slow the ball down and then speed it back up. Okay, tiebreaker. Let's go. So that's up to seven points, is it? There we go. Yeah. Really just try to get one point when he serves, and I got this. I wonder if actual tennis is like that. Like, if you serve. You just have the advantage. I... Toad, my boy. Move those little feet. Oh. I got... I was looking at his racket and made that animation where... Kind of like... I don't know, when he hit it, it made extra like flares. And it kind of... I lost the ball. I blinked. Ah. Sloppy Joes. Let's go. Change court. Serve it to me, baby. Oh, yeah, it like makes stars. And then I'm looking at the racket. I cannot see it. I don't know if you guys noticed that too. Okay, there we go. These guys keep changing courts. They must be getting tired. Yeah. Come on. Ah! It's one of those rallies. None of us giving up an inch. No! I really gotta stop speaking so soon about this stuff and then maybe it'll ah see can't let him win the set nah fuck darn it my bad Ah, makes it more entertaining, right?
didn't want him to win that set. He seems a lot easier than uh, Birdo, that's for sure. It's just a couple of these hits, I get. I lose the ball. Ah. Wasn't sure what he was going to do there. I had a feeling he was going to spike it that way. Thought maybe a slow hit would be good, but it kind of scared me. There we go. I'm trying to get him up to the net so I can just pop it over him because he's he's small like me. Oh, that's embarrassing. That's an embarrassing. Oh, Toad, move your move your little feet, your feetsies. So always go to the middle. Okay, you get the most time to react on both sides. Here we go. As soon as he popped it up for me. And I gotta be smarter off my serves. If I can just remember to pop, uh, press B instead of A and not pop it up for him. Oh, thank you. Ah, can't make it in time. He did his little, like, roly, roly poly -oly move, maybe. Stop hitting it to the corners, bro. I do not want to run that far. I... Ha! Don't ask me how I did that, but... I did. Yes! Banana, cream pie. Yes, come close. Let's go. Pump the chest. I serve now. Yeah, come to the net, buddy. Buddy boy. Someone's got to check this baby for steroids, though. Like, some performance enhancer or something. Wah. I think Baby Mario and Baby Luigi had... Is it a Game Boy game together? But I don't know if that's a Game Boy Advance. And Did that come out after this? Or... Just a random thought that popped into my brain, because before I was talking about the previous episode or this one where I said that Baby Mario's first appearance is in uh, this game, so I wasn't sure if I was telling the truth or not. I'm pretty sure it is, unless there's that Game Boy game that I'm remembering. Sometimes if you let the ball bounce, it's actually better. You get like a better swing at it. Alright, well, I won the first... I won that set nice and easy. No tiebreaker needed. Back to him serving, so... Yeah, okay. I want to let the ball bounce, but sometimes it's too risky to let it... Ah. Thought he was going outside. Like so. Ah, almost made it. 
Almost made it. Ah. Uh, I really hate receiving the ball on this side. For some reason, I get messed up where the ball is going to go every time. Let's see if I can bring back this, this match, though. Needed one more point here. Alright, there we go. As long as I don't get aced. No. Darn. Try to fake him out with some <laughs> some running moves. Mm. Sometimes I can just feel it. Like here, I think I got him. Nope. Making it there. I'm not hitting the ball hard enough. Go for some softies. Yeah. It's really hard to ace a computer. Just trying to trying some out there. I can bring him to the side more. And he has to return it in the direction. Eh. Maybe I'm overthinking it too much. Ah. Make it. He's got control of the ball. Now I think I got it back. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh my. Yeah, pop it up over him. Alright, we gotta win this. Actually, we gotta win two now. If I wanna avoid a tiebreaker. At least I'm on the good side. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Hype, hype, hype. Oops. Was a bit too far away to pop that one up. When I learned that you can like purposely pop up the ball, this game like completely changed. And like a soft hit as well. There was actually some strategy instead of just pressing A all the time. Not the biggest fan of doing a soft one, only on like Flower Cup. Because it will really slow them down. If they're farther back, you might be able to get a double bounce. Yeah. Had a feeling I was missing that one. Hey, uh. Oh. Almost got me there. I'm glad I'm not versus like a power dude, though. I would have probably lost by now. Because their spikes are just crazy. Well, especially with Toad, I can't really move that fast. Seems like I can't move that fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. It's time to win this cup. Another one in the bag. Come on. Get the corner shots. Make a move. Yeah. My name's Toad. Championship points, fellas. Here we go. We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Picked ya. Uh, yeah. Super corner. Yeah. Dude. Nice job. We won the Star Cup. Yay! Clap, clap, clap. Thanks everybody for watching. Definitely let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more singles tournaments. I'll definitely be doing another doubles. But yeah, just to unlock the harder tournaments, because I've never played them before. And I think that would be fun to show off. So definitely let me know. Don't forget that like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment. See you guys. Have a wonderful day.